we could tell this man he got to come out here. And the only reason he comes out here is because we tell him to. Hey, man, if you don't feel compelled through the spirit that the Lord's going to put you to death for not doing the work, then don't come out here, man. Because you're going to, what does what scripture say? Some have crept in unawares. You got men out here that actually do that, man. They come into these camps. They, they come out here because they don't want to look bad in front of the guys because they came by one day. The guys called them out on something. Now they felt compelled. Damn, if I don't go back now, now I seem like I whipped out. Or I really don't know what the hell I was talking about. So they keep coming out out of pride. And eventually it becomes a thing where they don't even know what the hell they're doing, but they just come out here and do it, man. And hands they, in the pockets. Don't, yeah, hands in the peck, pocket uh, Israelites. And those are, those are those guys that are those parrots, man. That just speak what they've been told. They repeat what they hear, man. Yeah, they don't. They're not. They're not studying, man. They're not trying to be increased. All right, man. This, so you, this things you gotta grow. You gotta. It, it, nobody can make you grow. Okay. Nobody can give you a, a, a booster. You know, what they call it? A boost up. You know, so you get to the next story. Nobody can help do that for you except for the Lord, man. But you gotta put in the effort, man. That's why I said uh, uh, study to show thyself approved. Make that call and election sure. All right. Because what well, you have to put in the effort into this, man. Because if, you, if, you, if you're not putting in the work, then you're not... That's like, how you going to get good at, 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 at boxing if you never... In the, you got to be in the ring every day, man. Yep. You got to be conditioning. You got to be throwing the hands, hitting the bag, hitting the heavy bag, sparring. And, and Paul said, don't be as one that beat in the air. Yeah, man. Wait, <laughs> you, you're the baddest man, be, you know, shadow boxing, but you get in the ring and get knocked down 10 yeah, seconds, don't, man. Don't, don't be sitting here faking the funk, man. Uh, putting it short, man. Don't be coming out here thinking that you... You, you, you know how to put a, a one-two combination together, but then when it comes down to do the real thing, you you out here with your hands like this, like that one eater might after can one day, with his hands, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> his hands like this, <laughs> in his pockets and shit, like, oh, man, come on, man, come on. Come on, man. We ain't looking for guys like that, man. Well, we ain't. The Lord ain't looking for guys like that, man. The Lord is looking for men of action, man. Men, men that are wanting to come out here for the Lord's sake, man, not for our sakes, man. The Lord was the one who come crucified himself on the cross for our sakes man the least we could do is come out here and sacrifice our, ourselves sacrifice our time which is the most valuable thing that we can give to the lord man our time reasonable service yeah, yeah. man it's reasonable reasonable yeah. clear and evident the lord put himself on a cross what the lord say i can call legions of, think not that i can call legion uh legion of angels he told uh peter that put thy sword back in there don't you think that i can call angels and put and put these people to death and save myself from this? He said, this was my king and my servant shall fight, man. God, so what? The Lord sacrificed himself for us, so the least we can do is sacrifice our reasonable service and put our reasonable time to the Lord, man. Come out here and do this work, man. And, and put our, our time into learning these scriptures, man. Because if not, the Lord's going to put us to death. Or the Lord might put you onto a strong delusion like Christianity, man. Mm -hmm. Like that guy was. Ultimately die anyways. You know? Ultimately die. Who knows? The Lord might wake that, that dude might go home. And say, damn, I got fucking destroyed today. I might have to talk, take a double look at those scriptures they, they read. He might be here next week. Who knows? I don't know. Hold but what, spirit. like the brother said, the Lord will have mercy on who he will have mercy. Now, if the Lord wants to have mercy on him, then hey, I, we'll, we'll gladly uh, uh, accept that brother as a brother. If he comes out here and shows himself to be approved, man. Uh, hey, because, you know, Paul, you know, the disciples then, you know, they weren't, you know, hooraying when he came around first. You know, I'm sure they were skeptical about it. You know, because they knew he was, uh, uh, you know, persecuting them. But what? They ultimately they accepted him. And so you know, just because like brothers been saying that through the spirit, a lot of gainsayers are going to be converted, man. Not all, all of them, but a good amount of them. They're going to come to realization this year. You know what? They got a good point. Like even he, I don't know. Well, Esau, he could have yeah. been a Jake, but the Christian, he was like, you know, you guys got good points. I'm gonna have to look into this and go into the history you guys are telling me about. And, and because what? The same scripture that he was bringing out, talking about neither. Jew nor yeah, Greek. We, broke that, we broke that down to that dude, and we told him that he has to go into that word Greek and to that and to go into it that means Hellenist, and he had to look that up. And he says, "Shit, you know what? I'm gonna have to go when I go home. I'm gonna have to look that up because that makes sense, right? It uh, makes it's sense. written in another language. You <laughs> yes, know, that's you, why you got to know the history. You got to go back into that language to see what those words actually mean. Yeah. You, know, you 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 were trying to tell this man that, but he didn't he didn't, didn't want to hear it. Every time you would uh, go into it, uh, he'll talk over you." Uh, yep. That's pride. Just like when we read, uh, when we went into uh, the word world, and, and uh, yeah, he didn't want to hear it. Yeah, he didn't want to hear what the, what it meant. He we, hey, right out the Isaiah. You know, yeah. He still didn't want to yeah. hear it. He didn't even know. I guarantee you, he don't even remember when we brought that scripture out. Yeah, yeah he he was too busy talking. Yeah, he was. Man. Right, but here's a quick script. This is uh, Saint Luke chapter twenty-one, verse fifteen. 
For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to again say nor resist. Right, man, an adversary means someone that's against you, man. Yeah. Really, Satan. Satan. <laughs> yeah, come on. He's talking about Satan, Satan and, and death. <laughs> Man, come See, on, man. Anybody who's against the Most High, that's Satan, man. If you come up here and you try to tell us that, what, because we're reading out the Bible, if you're trying to tell us that we're what, we're wrong for, and we're reading out the Bible, then you're against the Most High, man. And the Lord is going to put you to death. It's that simple. Ain't no way getting around that, man. Ain't, if, ain't, ain't no emotions to that, man. That's plain and simple. And the Lord said that, man. If we're so wrong, you know, you know, like like the brother quoted that scripture. I mean, you want to, if you, oh, you get something. Get uh, Revelation twenty two and eleven. Okay. Hey, because uh, real quick, because um, anybody who doesn't want who doesn't want to go against the scriptures, because uh, what he's saying, John, he that believed on me as a scripture, I say it. You got to The Lord is the Word. <laughs> Quick scripture. This is at Matthew twelve and thirty. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth the bride. So you either on this side or you're not on this side. If you're not if you're if you're not helping gather the sheep, then you're scattering the sheep. And that that rhetoric, that nonsense that Christianity has been spewing, that diarrhea of the mouth, is is is, is we got the spiritual pepto bismol for it, man. We stopping all that nonsense, man. Hey, because even the Lord Himself said, "Those that would not have me reign over them, bring them hither and slay them, man." If you don't, if, hey, and we said, and the scriptures say it, the word is it was. With God and the Word is the Most High. That's all about Yahweh Shai. These words are the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, if you don't, if you don't, if you're going against the Scriptures and you're going against what the Scriptures say, then you are ultimately against the Most High, and the Most High is going to have you slain before Him, man. Rebellious. So you got to watch what you say when it comes to the Scriptures, man. Yeah, Rebellion is a, a big sin to the Lord. Yeah, that's why I say he, they consider that they do not, they do not the, evil. Yeah, um, yes. and, and uh, Ecclesiastes five. five. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't think he, what he thought he was doing. He thought he was right. He he had all the green lights in the in the world in his mind. He was cutting us up. He yeah, was exposing he, us. He, I'm a, he said, "I'm gonna come and expose you." <laughs> so he purposely came over here, man. That's what I'm telling you, <laughs> dude. That might have been an agent. Who knows? And he came and gave us a token of. It might be a tracking device in those cars. Who knows? Yeah, we'll well, I'm going to leave it at Walmart tonight. So. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? That might be a tracking device. You see? Hey, man, we ain't privy. We, we ain't ignorant to Satan's devices, yeah, man. Again, we're not hiding, so shit. Yeah, we ain't, yeah, we we ain't right here. here. We know, yeah. You know where we live, Esau. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know our names. If that's all you can us. do, come, up, come with Come with something better than that. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, it's low level. <laughs> yeah. And shit, we yeah, hold on. But uh, we saw it's low level like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like, we we ain't, we ain't, we're not saying we on some kind of high level and mighty. We not like the you know, top apostles and nothing. But damn, we even that was low to us, man. Yeah, yeah that was. That yeah, was hey, I, at the end of the day, it ain't nothing about us, like the brother said, man. It ain't about us, man. Spirit, we just yeah. men. We 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 just we here in the flesh, man. There ain't nothing to us, man. But what? We have the spirit of the Lord on us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we have the spirit of the Lord on us, man. And through the spirit of, uh, of the Lord, we can confound uh, mountains, man. We're going to cast down mountains with the spirit of the Lord on us, man. So what do you think? Hey, man, we, we we are confident in the spirit of the Lord, man. Yeah, because the spirit takes over. When yep. somebody comes out, they, they don't even know they're... They think they're coming to confound us. Really, you about to get confounded by the spirit of the Yahweh Shemiah Shai, man. Yeah. We're not going to sit here and tell you how I feel. The spirit's going to hop on, brothers, and just... The scriptures that we ain't even thinking about is gonna start coming out. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You're gonna get cut, man. Yep. Hey, same thing in the in the in our time of persecution. But uh, let the brother get this. Go ahead. <clears throat> this is Revelation 22 and 11. Okay. He that is unjust, let him be unjust. Kind of still. That, hey, kind of, and that man was unjust. We as of trying to convert him. We weren't trying to convert. Well, the spirit was trying to convert yeah, him, yeah. but we were trying to correct him. Really? Yeah. We were trying to correct him, but the spirit was trying to call out. The Lord was trying to. Uh, 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 get him right, man. That's why we were telling, hey, man, the Lord is giving you a stern warning right now, man. You better get it right. We ain't telling you, man, the scriptures are telling. We were going into the scriptures and extrapolating off the scriptures. This man didn't bring out what John three sixteen and, and neither Greek nor Jew. All right, uh, go ahead. Man. Read that again from the top man. of the show. This is Revelation twenty two and eleven. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy God, still. So, so we can tell you, we can warn you. Yeah, if you want to continue in your ignorance, don't walk by here and expect us to, you know, give you a high five. Yeah. All right? Because if you want to continue to be ignorant, we're going to let you, man. Hey, Con, we'll let the end Blood's of the day. Blood's off our hands, like Ezekiel yeah, said. Yeah, exactly. And at the end of the day, who is my mother? Who is my brother? Who is my sister? But he that doeth the will of my father. If you ain't, if, if we told you, especially if we told you, because we can have at least some type of sympathy if, 
if you never came across this thing, you don't know what the hell we're talking about. Damn well, what we're about. But he came up here, he knew somewhat the scriptures, and he came up here and we <laughs> tried to tell him and he wanted to go against it. Hey man, if we see you again, we ain't gonna have we ain't we ain't gonna be like that. Unless no. you come humble. Yeah, yeah, unless you come humble and you say, hey, brothers, you know, last time I came up, you know, I was wrong, you know, I I thought about what y'all said and you know Makes I actually sense. let me I want to come up here and learn you know if you guys can bear with me if, you Absolutely. know and we, we'll tell them if you got questions ask us but we're gonna go with the lesson right. just like we tell with the other brother that comes up here man because the same thing happened two thousand years ago they were scoffing there's people scoffing and coming up against the Yahweh and the disciples but what eventually they ended up coming back shit you know what that was the Messiah you know that yep. when, when when the when the temple rent all right. Everybody, you know, yeah, I wish I gave up the ghost. You know, there was people that got converted, man. There was 5,000 people a day getting converted. So, and we in that time right now, man. We in the time of, of, of the mass awakening, man. Our people are going to start waking up to who they are, and it's going to be a lot of people coming into this thing, man. Hey, and again, man, the water, Yahweh, Shimi, Shai, Shimi, that's for getting us up out of this, taking that spirit of Papavas, man, because we could be somebody like that, man. Man, imagine that. That, hey, that's why we always have to give. That's why the men of the Lord, we as as men of the Lord, we have to always give thanks and praise to the Lord, man. Because he, we could be another dude like that, man, lost in the sauce, not knowing that we do err, that we're that we're going off, man. Yeah, he we got could, a strong delusion, and he but that he shall believe a lie. Look at him. He thought he hundred percent thought he was correct, man. Yeah. But what the spirit of the Lord obviously wasn't dealing with him because he couldn't. He, he first of all he didn't have a Bible. Yeah. He was just quoting, pulling shit out his ass. Not just saying, repeating. Just because you repeat it a hundred times, don't make it right. All right? Yep. Love, love, Jews, Gentiles, or, or Greeks. That, that rhetoric holds no value, man. Bring it down the scripture. And, 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 even, yeah. and even when we told him, the times that he said that we were wrong on certain things, when we told him to break it down, he didn't. Yeah, he when, he, down. when he when when he he said, who are the Israelites? And we told him these people right here. He said, oh, you guys. You teach me. You, you, no, he walked away laughing. And oh he yeah, said, you yeah, guys yeah. are wrong. Yeah. You guys, okay. So, well, if, is? so if we're wrong, who are the Israelites? He didn't have no answer because we, he doesn't know. So how are we wrong if you don't know? So, yeah. How do you know that we're not right? You don't know. <laughs> he so, don't know, man. So, even if we were bringing out his face, he would still be like, "Oh, you guys, yeah, oh, yeah, you yeah, guys, yeah. Yeah. That was pride. He, it's he right was here. saying he don't even know the Lord was dealing with him, making him. Yeah. Fit out that yeah, rhetoric. Yeah, the Lord was dealing yeah. with him on that, yeah. on that level, yeah. Because yeah, the, the, the way of man is not of his own, yeah. but the Most High directed his stuff. So the Most High was right. speaking yeah, through so, him. So, so, he was putting, he was putting that pride demon on yeah. him. What, what he was saying was actually talking about himself. First he talked about demons, then he talking yeah. about pride. Yeah. That was you talking about yourself, my man. <laughs> <laughs> if he runs into the video, man, yeah. It, yeah, that'd be one way for him to maybe wake up, man. Like, damn, I, I look stupid as hell. Because yeah. that's yeah. a strong delusion, bro. Yeah. That, it really is. That's just, and especially this late in the game to be that far into Christianity, to have that heavy demon. And don't know it. You're like you don't even know you're a Christian. Boy, that's yeah. scary, bro. <laughs> to not even know that the Israelites are. You got Edomites. He walked by, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. or he looked like Edomite. He could have been yeah, a Jake. He could have been a, a whatever tribe he was from. Videos, but though. you still had a person who looked like a so-called white person, who said, "Hey, yeah, the Israelites, man, you guys are right." And he walked, kept, kept going. And we told him, "Why don't you go get on that guy?" Yeah. <laughs> He's saying Defend we right, the gospel, yeah. and he ain't he ain't black, you know. That's, that's the Lord working. Yeah. Hey, that, that was another that was another thing. He might see that in the video if he sees it and be like, damn, <laughs> that dude did say they were right. Was an unexpected battle. <laughs> yeah. yeah anyway. see, he thought he was yeah. coming up here with fellow fellow Christians, man. He threw up a hornet's nest. He, he he didn't know he was coming against the real Christians. Right, the true, the true uh, uh, followers of uh, the the true anointed. Right, the anointed. Right, Lord willing, we are those men, the which through the Spirit the Lord, we have confidence that we are. All right, us men up here, men, we have confidence that the Lord is dealing with us. First and foremost, we're able to confound anybody up here. That alone shows that the Spirit is, is dealing with us, man. This is why. This is Jeremiah one. I start at five. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. All right, so yep. the, the prophets were ordained beforehand, man. You can't just become a prophet overnight just because you want to be. You see, you see, you, you like the, the movement. You know, you see the Israelites on YouTube, and you, you know what? I like that. Let me go be a prophet. No, nah, it don't work like that. You had to be an ordained. Yep. All right? Hey, and, 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 like, like we were saying, we don't know who that guy might be. He might be a prophet, but mm -hmm. as of right now, he's... He, we don't see him as yeah, such. The scriptures say prove offense for the, you know, for yeah, the yeah. credit, man. Exactly. We don't know him from, from the, he just another nigga out here, bugged out. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if he's a man of the Lord, which, you know, I ain't going to set the bar too high for him, <laughs> but, you know, that's not, that's not up to us. 
<laughs> I'll say this, man. You, you show great patience dealing with them. All brothers do. You show great patience dealing with them. Yeah, you talking about we getting angry, but wait a minute, brother. Hey, we, we here, we discoursing. We, you trying to say that the words that are written from the Lord are, are, are wrong? Because we giving it to you. Over and over we're again. We're giving you the scriptures. We ain't coming out just sitting here and put, hey, brothers, this guy came on. Let's put the scriptures down. No, brother. Let's fight him. Let's fight him. We're going at the scriptures. That's we, what he kept saying. Oh, it's not uh, what did it say? Uh, the the, the, the principalities. Yeah, pris um, you know, yeah, war weapons of warfare. Yeah. Right Can you bring that out? Yeah, 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 he did. yeah. And we out here kicking people in the head. <laughs> and he said that. And I caught him when he said that. He said, see, y'all y'all want to, uh, he said, y'all want to put, put hands on people. Rough, you know, yeah, uh, somewhere yeah. along the line, I said, "Wait a minute, hold up. When did we say that?" Because then he went into, "Oh, revenge of the Lord." Yeah, we. we <laughs> but hey, man, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, man, the the, the, the scriptures is what it is, man. You ain't gonna sit here and try to add on to it and say the whole, hey, uh, everyone's safe. Show them, prove it. 